Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to look at three BandLab hacks that will help you take your music to the next level. If you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. First, let's make a classic reverse reverb effect. We're going to use this on a vocal, so to find one, I open up BandLab Sounds, click the Loops tab, then set the instrument filter to Voice, and the genre filter to Hip Hop Trap. I drag Elec HH90 Vox 4 bar 10 into the project and position it at the start of bar 5. Don't you know what get locked? I duplicate this track by right clicking the track header and selecting Duplicate Track. I then mute the original track by clicking the M button. On the new track, I double click the audio clip to bring up the editor page. Then click the reverse button to reverse the sample. I move the playhead to the start of the last syllable, then right click on the clip and select Slice. You can also slice by pressing the S key. I delete the audio clip before the last syllable. Then bring up the effects panel and add a reverb, studio reverb effect. I turn the mix to maximum, giving me just the processed wet sound without any of the dry original. I set the size to maximum to make a long reverb that I can truncate as necessary later. I then select File, Download, Mix Down As, and export the audio as an uncompressed WAV file. I drag the exported file into the project and delete the track with the reverb on it. I reverse the bounce track to give me the reversed reverb effect that's going to lead into the vocal. This reverb is a little quiet, so I turn its track up to plus 6 dB. Then I unmute the original version and set it to minus 3 dB to balance them. I position the reverse reverb so that it smoothly leads into the vocal. Turning settings snap to grid off makes it easier to get this right. You can also click the magnet icon to toggle snap to grid. Don't you know what get locked? When I have the reverse reverb track in approximately the right position, I slice it and add a fade at the end in the effects page to make it flow into the original vocal more smoothly. Don't you know what get locked? Don't you know what get locked? I also truncate and add a fade at the start to control how long the reverse reverb is. Don't you know what get locked? BandLab's audio pitch shift capability is primarily designed to help you transpose musical loops into the correct key for your project. However, by pushing it to its limits, you can create some cool effects. In BandLab Sounds, I search for a rave pack, open 90s rave, and set the instrument filter to drum. I drag 9R135 Break Warehouse 4 bar into the project, and as this is the first loop I'm adding to the project, BandLab automatically sets its project tempo to that of the loop, 135 beats per minute. I double click the audio clip to bring up the editor page, and here I can adjust the pitch shift parameter. By dragging down on the pitch value, I can take the loop's pitch down an octave, that's minus 12 semitones. This changes the timbre of the beat, giving it a really different feel. We can also pitch it up to plus 12 semitones, 
which gives it a different metallic feel. BandLab's delay effects are great for adding rhythmic feedback delay to your instruments and musical loops, but they can also be used to add swing to your tops as well. I create a new virtual instrument track and set it to drum pads 909 kit. I sequence closed hats on eighth notes. In the effects panel, I add a delay filter echo effect. I'm going to use this to have the hi-hat part play swung 16th notes. I only want each closed hat to repeat once, so I turn the feedback down to 0%. Now I can use the delay time parameter to control how swung the 16th note hats are. At 120 beats per minute, 125 milliseconds will give me straight 16ths. Slightly higher values will make the notes play a little later, giving us that funky swing. Values lower than 125 milliseconds will make the 16ths play earlier, with the very low values resulting in a slapback effect. The mix control can be used to balance the 8th and 16th notes. These are just a few of the ways you can use BandLab's capabilities to create events. So try experimenting and see what you can come up with yourself. Have fun!